Rose Marie is one of America's oldest television stars. You'd be hard-pressed to find a performer as successful as her. She captivated audiences all around the world for 91 years until her eventual death in 2017. Rose Marie is widely considered to be one of the most multi-talented performers in history. She's worked as an actress, singer, comedian, and vaudeville performer. She's also recognized as having one of the longest entertainment careers in the history of show business. Rosemary is one of those rare gems who seems to have been born for show business. She launched her career in 1926 when she was just three. Audiences were shocked to find that this tiny young girl had a strong and incredible singing voice. She had a surprisingly soulful voice that didn't match her age at all. She belted out blues songs so perfectly that professionals couldn't believe their ears. Letters began pouring in, all of them saying the exact same thing. That's no child, that's an adult woman. By the time she was five years old, Rose Marie had become such a sensation that she was given her own radio show. Her popularity as a child star earned her several appearances in Paramount Films, which helped to build up her acting resume. She didn't abandon her singing career, however, and she continued to perform in nightclubs, lounges, and on the radio. Her popular voice even earned her the nickname Darling of the Airwaves. Even after Rosemarie decided to put an end to her singing career, she continued to entertain her millions of fans. One incredible part of Rosemarie was her unending determination to be a star. She never failed to stay in the public eye. Even as she grew older and technology changed, Rosemarie was able to adapt to the times. In her later years, she became a popular presence on Twitter, bringing in younger fans who weren't around to watch the early years of her career. Rosemary always had that special ability to charm anyone who saw her. From the tender age of three to the 2000s, when she was in her 80s, she continued to captivate anyone who would listen. A performer at heart, Rosemary always felt like she had something more to say. Of course, with such a long career, there are bound to be a few dirty little secrets that plagued Rosemary's life. In today's video, we're going to show you some of the crazy, behind-the-scenes facts of her career. Make sure you stick around, because we're also going to reveal her shocking relationship with infamous crime lord Al Capone. She was born into show business. Rose Marie Mazetta was born on August 15, 1923, to Frank Mazetta and Stella Glusak. Her father was a vaudeville actor who performed under the name Frank Curley. Rose Marie grew up around performers, and her mother would take her to vaudeville shows as a toddler. When she returned from the shows, she would proudly sing the songs to her neighbors. Her neighbors were so impressed by her voice, they entered her into a contest. When she was three years old, her parents had her start performing under the stage name Baby Rose Marie. Even at a very young age, she loved the limelight and had a distinctive charm and swagger that made her fun to watch and listen to. Between 1929 and 34, she made over a dozen records, was given her own radio show, and even appeared in a few films. She had a secret connection to Al Capone. Growing up, Rosemary's family had ties to the mob. When she was just a child, she knew Al Capone closely enough to refer to him as Uncle Al. He and some of his other mobsters would come over, and Rosemary's mother would cook meals for them. While her father was a regular vaudeville performer on the outside, he secretly worked as an arsonist for Al Capone. If Al wanted to teach someone a lesson, he would call on Rosemary's father to burn down their property. Al Capone ended up fostering her career, and she admittedly called on him for favors from time to time. Before her death in 2017, Rosemary was the oldest living person to have had a relationship with the notorious mobster. She was close friends with Frank Sinatra. Al Capone wasn't Rosemary's only connection. Back in the day, she described show business as being a small world where everyone knew each other. Many stars ended up working closely together in films, and as a result, they would form close relationships outside of their work. One of Rosemary's close friends was famous singer and actor Frank Sinatra. Her husband, Bobby Guy, even played the trumpet for him on occasion. Rosemary's friendship with Frank Sinatra wasn't just for show. When she discovered she was pregnant with her first and only child, a daughter she named Georgiana Guy Rodriguez, Frank Sinatra was the first person she told. She was the first celebrity to only use her first name. Back in the day, even the most famous celebrities were known by their full names. When Rosemary first started her career as a child, she was known as Baby Rosemary. In fact, the name idea was given to her by famous model and performer Evelyn Nesbitt, who Rosemary once sang on stage with. As she grew older, however, Rosemary knew she had to leave the childish name behind and changed her performance name to Miss Rosemary. In the 50s, Rosemary moved to California to pursue a career in film and TV. Her agent asked what name she went by, and after some consideration, she said simply, Rosemary. In a later interview, she explained she had always known herself as simply being Rosemary, and she didn't see the point of using her last name. 
While Rosemary was beloved by millions of fans and she was well known for her spunky attitude, it did end up having some consequences in the future. Make sure you stick around until the very end where we'll reveal one incident where her attitude got her in serious trouble. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please take a moment to like it and subscribe to our channel for more. She only married once. Rosemary fell in love with a trumpeter named Bobby Guy, and the two married in 1946. Together, they had one daughter named Georgiana Guy Rodriguez, who later grew up to become a film producer. It's no secret that Hollywood romances are often tumultuous and filled with drama and infidelity. It's not uncommon for a Hollywood star to have four or five different marriages throughout the course of their life. Rosemary, however, had a very different relationship with her husband. He was the only man she ever married. After his death in 1964, she was so heartbroken, she wore black for an entire year as a symbol of her grief. She was sentimental about her career. To Rosemary, show business was far more than just a way to make money. It was her deepest passion in life. Since the beginning of her career as a performer, she kept mementos from everything she worked on. She saved photos, scripts, videos, playbills, just about anything she could get her hands on. In one interview, she even said, All the shows I was on, I shot lots of footage on set. I also asked for a copy of every episode I appeared in, so you can imagine I have lots of footage. She kept an entire room in her house devoted just to mementos from her career. She worked hard for women's rights. Women's rights have come a long way since Rosemary's birth in 1923, and she made a huge contribution to that. She always strove to do what she thought was right, and she wouldn't let men take advantage of her just because she was a woman. She inspired countless other women to be as fearless and as forthright as herself. When she acted on The Dick Van Dyke Show, she was paid just as much as her male counterpart, Maury Amsterdam, which was a huge deal for women at the time. Her attitude had some consequences. Rosemary was never known to take any nonsense, no matter how important the person might be. In 1954, however, she was approached by a producer who promised her a steady film career if she did whatever he wanted. Miffed, Rosemary responded by saying, You couldn't get it up if a flag went by. The rude remark may have been satisfying at the time, but it had huge consequences for her career. The real reason she didn't appear in as many films is because that producer did his best to blacklist her from any film he could. Rosemary was a talented and unique woman who inspired and entertained millions. Were you more surprised to learn about her ties to the mob or her amazing career as a singer when she was just five years old? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Factsverse for more.